Ah, nice to see you again and a very good Boxing Day afternoon to you. Just before going out today, I'm just having a look at this book. The Ghost Hunter's, Hunter's Guide to England on the Trail of the Paranormal, Rupert Matthews. Cracking book. Fairly thick paperback and it's quite comprehensive as well as loads of different stories and accounts, hauntings, apparitions and the like. Paranormal. I'm just having a look at this one here, look. This one in Hertfordshire. And it relates to the boar's head at the Bishop's Dorford. Boar's head at Bishop's Dorford. Customers at the Boar's Head at Bishop Storford were startled to see the apparition of a regular drinker walk into the pub just hours after his funeral. <laughs> Let's have a little look. Let's have a little delve deeper, shall we? And, uh, have a mooch, as it were. Are you sitting comfortably? Well, then I'll begin. <clears throat> Rather more shadowy is the ghost that frequents the Boar's Head pub in Bishop Stortford. Stortford. This tall, slim man is said to be a former church warden of nearby St Michael's Church who favoured the Boar's Head as of, uh, a, a place to relax and drink the odd pint or two. After his burial in his beloved church, it is said he returned in spectral form to walk his old accustomed route from the church to pub before vanishing. He is said to have been seen repeating his ghostly journey again more recently. In, in 2003, after closing one night, uh, Patrick the landlord was, was sitting with a friend and, the, and they both heard a stool being pulled away from the bar on the other side of the fireplace. They then heard it being pulled back into position as if someone was sitting at the bar. It was a very distinctive loud sound as the floor here is of York flagstone and could not be explained away. Another time, a few, a few months later, again after, after closing, Patrick was sitting on a bar stool talking to a friend when the poker from the fire jumped off its, its hook and instead of falling went sideways and hit the legs of the stool Patrick was sitting on. This was a yard or more away. The pub itself dates back over 600 years and was originally owned by the church, but was sold off at the Reformation. The heavy wooden beam over the fireplace has been dated to the 1400s. Only slightly more recently, this pub was a favourite watering hole of Samuel Pepys when he journeyed out of London and he crops up more than once and and crops up more than once in, in his famous diary. So this particular pub is mentioned in uh, Samuel Pepys. Diary. There you go, a little bit of history and a little bit of the paranormal on this Boxing Day. Nice to see you. Continue to enjoy your Christmas festivities with every blessing from me until we meet again.